that looks good. This does not. What's up guys, Anthony, I'm making another Mock Monday video. So today I'm gonna to be showing you how to restore your shaker hood, because if you guys don't know, they get pretty uh, faded and gray looking. Mother's Back to Black Trim Restore. Um, it's kind of like a waxy-ish feeling liquid. And then I have this little applicator brush. You can buy it at any Michael's store or art store. And some lint-free wipes. So I'm going to get started with that. So what you're going to do, just get a little bit of this. Put some on the uh, brush. You can also use like a sponge. That'll work. But just kind of get it on here and start spreading it out evenly. Um, they also have an aerosol can version, which I don't really recommend because it dries really quickly. It's like this still kind of like stays wet and I can actually spread it on here. So you're pretty much just going to like kind of paint it on. Um, recommend getting this brush over a sponge, kind of get all the little crevices and it'll help to get the fins in there later on. Some scenic shots. About halfway done putting the first coat. So is this made for, is this made for, you said it's for trim, but is it for metal trim or plastic trim or both? It's mostly for like plastic trim, but a lot of people I've talked to with the Mach 1 say that this is like the stuff to use. Get the fins, I might have to use the aerosol can, which I don't have on me, but we can try to get it. You can mush the can. See, that's kind of... Oh! You know one of those towels? Anthony's first mistake ever in his life. Exclusion on my car, guys. Just give me one, come on. Today. It's gonna fuck up the paint. Please. Say please. Say please. Say please. Say Anthony made a second mistake. I didn't do anything. The wind pushed it over. I am flawless. I don't make mistakes. So I actually put way the frick too much on this part. So I'm gonna wipe that off. But I can guarantee you, this part will not be uh, becoming dull anytime soon. Then also try to avoid getting it on the paint like my dumbass did. This stuff is off. Like, this honestly looks freaking fantastic. I don't know if you guys can really tell. Oh yeah, it looks way different in the video. And also I put too much on and started getting the uh, chin spoiler as well. So I mean, you can even see a difference with what I've done like right there to right here. Like it's, it honestly looks really bad, like right there in the corner, it's really hazy and white. So I'm gonna see if I can finish that up. Ryan Litzler. <laughs> gonna put a second coat on this guy real quick. Hey, you finna do your spoiler? Need it. All right, good point. So once more, guys, real quick, I'm just gonna give it a quick wipe down with a fresh cloth. Pick up any excess. So finished product, I think it looks pretty sweet. Mother's does recommend that what you do is uh, let it cure for about 24 hours. I don't really have that kind of time. Well, I mean, I do, but it's my daily, so can't let it just sit in the garage and uh, perfect itself. Um, but if you guys want, I can do a, uh, you know, check up on it in a few weeks, maybe a month or so, and uh, give you overall thought of it. This is what the stuff is right here. It's Mother's Back to Black Restorer. It wants to focus. There we go. So like I said, they have this stuff here. They also do have an aerosol. Um, I did buy the aerosol to use, and uh, I use it back in here in the little side vents, which it is purely black. I think it looks so much better. Like Luke was saying, 
you know, if you guys are going to sell your car, honestly, it's totally worth it. Spend an extra 30 minutes, an hour cleaning it, detailing all this little black trim, making sure it looks good. You'd be surprised what just a little bit of elbow grease does. So I haven't told you guys yet, but I have a super huge surprise coming tomorrow. Um, has something to do with changing the appearance of this. I'll let you guys kind of guess at it. But I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you for subscribing. Be sure to hit that like button. And I will see you next week. Later. <laughs>